have tasked my cabinet and staff to set up the kind of management, oversight, and disclosure that will help ensure that, and I will challenge state and local governments. These are judges, cabinet secretaries, and military leaders. And most young people who begin misusing prescription drugs don't buy them in some dark alley. They get them from the medicine cabinet. Addiction doesn't always start in some dark alley. It often starts in a medicine cabinet. In fact, I've said this before, I will repeat it. I have the greatest admiration and courage for President Calderon uh, and his entire cabinet, his rank and file police officers and soldiers as they take on these cartels. Some of the cabinet secretaries who are doing good work day in and day out on behalf of the American people have joined us tonight, so I want to make mention of them. Uh, and um, so I guess, and I know you are interested in history and have studied particularly, I think, I've read um, President Lincoln and the way he um, created a cabinet and so on. Here, I appreciate those who are participating as well as my uh, members of my cabinet. Uh, this means that for the first time, and probably this is unprecedented, we will have the Mexican economic cabinet with their counterparts from various government agencies from the United States as well high-ranking officials. But I'm pleased that the United States is being represented at this summit by two outstanding members of my cabinet, Secretaries John Kerry and Penny. But we also respect the office of the President and all your cabinet members that have joined us here tonight. What we don't yet have uh, is a prime minister and a cabinet that is formed uh, that can go ahead and, and move forward and then start reaching out to all the various groups and factions inside of Iraq uh, and can give confidence to populations in the Sunni areas that ISIL is not the only game in town. Does it concern you, government, that indeed there is corruption that has, it's a war that has been taken head on by our very president, and in fact, some of his cabinet secretaries and PSAs and top government officials are currently in court because of the